Hey ladies, I just wanted to go um, and record a video, a tutorial on um, our unique primer, our concealer and foundation. I want, I've want i had a lot of people ask me how to use them and what they're for, so what I'm going to do is um, just walk you through the steps that I do. First, I will put on my primer, which is the um, unique Touch Glorious Face Primer, right? Um, I've already put it on. I'll do like a little quick um, show of how I do it, but you're supposed to put it on, wait about five minutes, um, let it all soak in before you go and put your makeup on, but you can use your finger, you can use a brush, whatever you feel comfortable with. You don't need a lot. Um, see? You just, I just do that and hit like major points and just spread it all over, right? And then um, I focus a lot on my T, right? Because that's where um, I have my pores are really deep. Um, and this helps with um, helping hold your makeup in place better, make it look more um, smooth and um, flat if you're not wanting that um, peel like look. And it also helps. Um, sink into your pores so you can have a smoother finish. Um, so yes, that was the Glorious Touch um, Face Primer. And then you, I also use after that the Scarlet Concealer, Mineral Touch um, Skin um, Perfecting Concealer. <clears throat> I am Scarlet, that's the color I use. I'll probably um, start using organza more in the winter time but um, this color is what works for me. You can either um, do it as a spot I've got that primer on my hand so it's smooth but um, you can do like a little spot protection or spot um, you do the concealer brush right you can um, do it by just doing a little spot like this for example and then put on your just dab it, blend it. You really don't need that much. I actually kind of put on a lot. I did not mean to put that much. But just spread it out. You could do a spot just like that. Just cover up little spots you don't want to see. Okay. See? You could do little spots. Or you can do what I like to do, and I like to mix my concealer with my foundation. And the foundation I use is the uh, Unique, you gotta shake it up first because it's mineral to powder, so the powder kind of sits a little bit if you haven't used it in a little bit. So you want to make sure you squeeze out the top part of it too, get um, whatever's in the tube out, um, so you make sure you mix it so you're not getting like a just a little bit of um, oil in there. Or, um, the liquid part without the minerals. Anyway, it's the Mineral Touch um, liquid foundation. And all you really need is like three or four drops. And then use the um, liquid foundation brush from Unique. What I do is I'll put a little bit of concealer on because I like a full coverage. I'll just put like a little bit of concealer. Um, that actually might be too much, but okay. And then um, squeeze it a couple drops. Oops, that one went down the side. A couple drops. And I like, I'm just going to do that. And I like to put it at random spots on my face so that I'm not starting off in one spot and all of it tends to be on this side. So I just spot it around. Right, and I go down my neck because you want to blend down your neck. Um, and when you color match, you want to match to your neck because um, you're more likely to have a um, go too dark or too light with your um, foundation if you just base it off of your face color. Because um, you know, when you see people have those lines, and you can definitely tell that they're wearing foundation, um, it's because they didn't match to their. Um, neck, and they got a different shade going on. So if you, if you um, match to your neck, you shouldn't have an issue with actual good color matching. All right. So 
I like the full coverage. They call liquid foundation liquid gold Photoshop in a bottle. I like to blend it a lot because remember I do mix the concealer with the foundation so I'm, I'm kind of blending it like you would <laughs> painting um, on the canvas like when you put two different colors together on a canvas some people like to do it um, separate and blend off the canvas while well, I like to blend on for all my friends who are in the art and stuff and as you can see that redness from my skin tone has um, went away the scarlet's um, a good tone to tone that down because based off of the different hues that you get like if your skin's a little more yellowish you might want to go with a more um, red bronzy type color foundation whereas if you have red you want to go with more of like a yellow to tone down the red okay and then if you still see a spot like you kind of do there I kind of rubbed it um, away you can come back with that concealer brush and just pat it and like 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 I said there's you don't need a lot right that's kind of like a big mark um, my son um, had cradle cap so I put some um, coconut oil on his on his scalp so that um, it can hopefully comb out but like me holding him and having my chin rest against him like come cause me to break out but <laughs> that's okay I got my liquid gold to help with that okay so as you can see I have nice full coverage um, I'm, I can put blush on or bronzer do a contour whatever it is you want um, I will do that in a later video but right now um, this is my finishing touch um, some, if you don't want blush or you don't want anything else, then you could use um, the Behold Setting Powder or the Setting Spray that we have just to help um, set your um, foundation in place. And um, some people, if you want to, take that extra step and use a foundation, um, a powder foundation, then you can do that as well. But I will just finish off the video here. That was your primer, your concealer, and your foundation. You remember you want to do the concealer before the foundation because that helps with the spot reduction. Or you can blend it in with your foundation. That's what I like to do. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.